Hello, uh, this video needed an intro, so here we are. Enjoy the scribbling on the back of the wall. As I tell you that this video is a what I eat in a day. Oh, you can see it in my glasses. <laughs> it's a what myself and my toddlers eat in a day and a cook with me. So I cook dinner with you and I talk about cooking and food and whatnot. So I show everything we eat from breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, me and my two toddlers, and then the dinner that I made for the whole family. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, let's get into it. So for breakfast, I made my kids some peanut butter and jelly. My son likes the opened face and my daughter likes the sandwich closed. I also gave them blueberries and I'm cutting up an orange. Um, this is the easiest way I found to cut the orange. So you just cut it in half and then take the little pieces out because apparently the whole slices or segments are choking hazards still at their ages. So I do that. I'm cutting up some, uh, what are they called? Nectarines. And then I'm also cutting up an apple and I'm going to make a little fruit salad. Now I've never done this before, uh, before this day. I just wanted to, I don't know, be efficient and make things cute. <laughs> maybe, um, maybe make my life a little easier for later or the next day. But my kids didn't like it. So, <laughs> uh, toddlers, eh? Um, I'm also using this, this uh, contraption that is all over the internets. It's fine. I have mixed feelings about it. Uh, I like it because it makes everything uniform and it saves, you know, wrist action and whatnot. And you can just throw the pieces in the dishwasher. Um, you do have to like have an extra step sometimes with the cleaning, the little bits at the top uh, stuck in those little like hole things. But I mean, it doesn't take too long and it comes with a cleaning brush, so it's not that bad. So there's my little fruit salad. Um, I also and end up adding some kiwi. Um, I don't know. Oh, and then I put it with the oranges. Uh, my kids like to eat all those fruits separately, but they did not like them together in the fruit salad. So uh, what? Why? What is up with toddlers? And why are they like that? <laughs> somebody, can somebody enlighten me? Like, why can't you eat? them together. My son likes Cheerios. He likes yogurt. But when I tried to put the Cheerio and the yogurt in the same bite, he wouldn't eat it. But why? Anyway, there's my fruit salad. I ate some. My daughter, I think, picked out the little apple bits, but my son wouldn't touch it. So there's that. Um, I also like to snack on this cheese, so I'm cutting those up into little chunks. Um, this is all for their breakfast plate. I like to give them a fruit or two or three <laughs> fruits in the morning and then uh, a protein. They don't like eggs. They don't, some, they sometimes like bacon and breakfast sausage, but I don't really like to do that too often. Speaking of, I'm cutting this up for myself because I'm going to make myself a scramble with eggs and breakfast sausage and cheese, but my kids don't like any of those things. So I give them cheese for the protein. I give them carbs uh, and the peanut butter and jelly uh, and then the fruit for breakfast. So yeah, I have to find more uh, variety for their breakfast because I think they're getting tired of those things now. So I need to mix it up and find other things that they like. But toddlers are so picky. Why are toddlers so picky? <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm heating up my chopped up breakfast sausage, adding my scrambled eggs, and I'm going to add some shredded mozzarella and Parmesan mix that I have. I really would like to stop buying these bagged shredded cheeses. Um, I don't know if it'll save money, but I'm hoping it saves all those additives that they put. Uh, saves us eating all those additives that they put in the shredded cheese. Um, so I'd like to eventually get one of those uh, attachments for my KitchenAid, the cheese shredding attachment, uh, and do that all myself with blocks of cheese. Because right now, if I, I don't have time to stand there and grate cheese, let alone my arm hurts. So 
Um, my arm hurts when I have to create large blocks of cheese at once. So yeah, that's that's a long, random uh, kind of tangent. Now I'm making my coffee. I'm making it iced coffee this morning. I brewed some espresso on the stove top. So I'm pouring in a shot of espresso and I'm doing, or maybe it's a shot and a half. I don't even know. I just pour it up to kind of that first line. I add some sugar, mix it up, and I add half and half. On this day, I added a little bit of half and half and then some oat milk. Some days I just do half and half. Some days I just do oat milk. I don't know why I wanted to mix it up this time. So yeah, and then I add a lot of ice and I enjoy my coffee most days iced. Uh, and most of the time I like the espresso. But sometimes I'll do um, regular coffee in the um, French press or cafetiere, if you will. And yeah, so here's my breakfast, the iced coffee. Oh, and I put ketchup on my eggs. It's definitely polarizing, uh, but that's how I've always eaten it since I was a kid. Also, please don't mind my disgusting nails. I tried to do a gel manicure at home and I cannot seem to get the nail polish off. So they're like half done at this point and they look hideous. But this is my breakfast, coffee, a wrap and some fruit. And then I ended up eating that little coffee cake thing as well. And it was very sweet and delicious. Uh, freeze-dried fruit for a snack for my kids and we've moved on to lunch um, I had frozen prepared pre-prepared meatballs that I made and froze myself and a jarred marinara sauce and I am heating those up in the jarred marinara sauce on the stove I also made some pasta and this is their lunch uh, chopped up meatballs pasta probably one of their favorite meals especially my son uh, my daughter wanted me to also show my her toys along with her meal so she's like you have to show my toys too anyway this is my lunch leftover sausage and pierogies with gravy um well there he goes running around and this is me uh meal prepping a bit some salad so i had these heads of romaine lettuce in the fridge that i never got around to pre uh, prepping uh, so I chop them up and I'm going to wash and dry them and I keep the bag in the fridge and use it for salads and stuff for dinner time, lunch time, whenever we want salads. I find that we actually eat the lettuce instead of letting it go bad when I do this. So that's the aim for here for this. Um, and I am doing my best to prevent food waste. Um, here I am cutting the little florets off the broccoli crowns. I only we only eat the florets. I don't like the stem. I know everyone says that you can eat the stem and that's fine, but I just don't like it. I find it tough and I don't like the flavor for some reason. So I compost it. Uh, we compost most of our vegetable and fruit waste. So uh, I feel good about that. And we're gonna have this steamed for dinner along with the chicken curry that I'll be cooking. And I'm gonna show you how I make that. Cutting off the ends of the green onion, I'm gonna separate the greens, the green part of the onion from the white part of the onion and add them separately because the white part of the onion needs a bit longer to cook, I think. And then we can add the greens at the end for color and a bit more flavor. And then I'm also chopping up a regular onion and some cilantro. I'm dicing that up this way. Um, if you haven't seen this method of dicing an onion, which who hasn't at this point, but just in case it's news to you, this is how I like to do it. I find it provides the best uh, chop. I've learned it uh, from watching cooking videos literally my whole life. Um, so. Uh, yeah, sometimes it doesn't come out as good, but sometimes it comes out well. That's why I like to do the little dash, um, the little half cut. Some people don't, but I find it uh, gives you a finer chop when you do that. So you cut uh, straight lines down and then one line across the middle, and then you cut across the little dices like that. 
And that's my favorite way to cut an onion. Yes. So all of this is going into the curry along with these chicken thighs that I'm going to spare you, showing you that I cut them up into little cubes. I am adding some coconut oil into my Dutch oven. Um, I got rid of all my pans recently, adding the chicken to the melted coconut oil. I just have this Dutch oven and a large cast iron skillet and then a small cast iron skillet. I got rid of all my pans. I am trying to declutter and um, reduce the amount of stuff that I have. Um, as you can see, I'm adding spices to the chicken, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of ginger, dried ginger, and there's the garlic powder going in. Anyway, I haven't had an issue. Uh, I do find sometimes there's curry powder. I do find sometimes I would like a non-stick skillet again for like fried eggs and stuff. Although I am learning that you can cook uh, fried eggs on a cast iron skillet without them sticking. I'm learning how to do that. You basically just heat up the oil. You preheat the pan and heat the oil first before you add anything to it. And it just doesn't stick. Sometimes it still does, but um, most of the time it's fine. Anyway, I'm cooking that chicken and I take it out and then I add all those uh, aromatics that I chopped up before, the green onion and the regular onion. Um, I wait to add the cilantro. I don't even think I showed myself chopping cilantro, but I added uh, chicken bouillon paste in there and I added some water to scrape the chickeny bits off the bottom of the uh, Dutch oven. And I'm just stirring that around. Uh, as I said, this recipe is adapted from a HelloFresh recipe. We don't do HelloFresh anymore. I just recently canceled actually. I just don't find it um, economically helpful or, or I don't know, it's fine sometimes. I have mixed opinions about HelloFresh. Uh, maybe I'm shooting myself in the foot in terms of ever having a business relationship with them on YouTube, but it's fine by me at this point. Um, I'm adding some more spices to this, uh, a little bit of cumin, a little bit of dry, uh, dried coriander, and then I add the chicken back in. Mix everything together and I end up adding coconut milk to the chicken as well, which um, gives it a, a nice flavor. I've tried with regular cream and, or half and half or different types of milk. And the best flavor I've found is with the coconut milk for this particular curry. So here's a full can of coconut milk. Mix it up before I add it. I actually use that milk frother to mix it up. And that helps to prevent like those lumpy bits in the coconut milk can thing that sometimes happens. So yeah, mixing that all together. And then I am going to add a secret ingredient. <laughs> oh, there's the cilantro going in. But the secret ingredient that I was talking about, um, I did not even think to add this at any point until I had that HelloFresh recipe card. Um, I'm adding lime juice as well. Um, keeping you on the fence about the secret ingredients. It's coming up soon. <laughs> um, I don't like the taste of the lime juice, so I don't know if I will be adding that again. I've tried it with and without the lime juice and I prefer it without the lime juice. So, um, yes, that is the secret ingredient, sweet Thai chili sauce. Now, some people can sometimes use um, Thai chili paste. Um, I like the sweetness that this adds. It's probably obviously not the best for you. It's probably better, I don't know, to avoid using all that sugar. As I add more sugar, I'm adding brown sugar as well to the curry. Um, I've also used coconut palm sugar which uh, also tastes fine, but I didn't have any, so I'm using brown sugar. And um, there's my little guy. <laughs> uh, mixing it up, mixing all the sweetness in. Um, yeah, I really like the, the way that sweet Thai chili sauce adds a slight kick and a bit of sweetness to the curry, but it's not overly spicy where my kids won't eat it. So, oh, this is my new rice cooker that I got from Aldi for $17.99. And this is the dinner. We had frozen naan that I heated up in the toaster. Uh, I made fries with it because my husband likes fries and rice. 
and uh, that steamed broccoli with the chicken curry. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. Um, come back for more content like this. And thanks again. I will see you next time. Bye.